Engineers and designers from the University of Tokyo have developed a robotic backpack called Jizai Arms, which allows connecting up to six mechanical arms. This device attaches to the torso using several straps, and the hands of the arms can be interchangeable. The user can choose between human-like hands and grippers. The robotic backpack weighs 4.1 kilograms without the robotic arms. When the robotic arms are connected, the weight of the device increases to 14 kilograms. The arm movements are controlled remotely using a special setup, which is a scaled-down replica of the device itself. Currently controlling the arms through the robotic backpack presents certain challenges. Sometimes the cooperation of multiple operators is required, and it is impossible to use the device without the assistance of others. This is the main problem that needs to be solved. However, in the future, with the development of neural interfaces, it may be possible to achieve mind-controlled operation, allowing the user to control the robotic arms as if they were their own. Doctors in the United States are preparing for trials of the so-called artificial womb. Currently, the technology is not capable of supporting the gestation of a child from conception to birth, but it aims to improve the chances of healthy development for premature babies born between 22 and 28 weeks. The concept involves placing such children in a bio bag filled with electrolytes. Umbilical blood vessels are connected to a system that provides oxygenated blood. Trials on lambs were successful, and now researchers from the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia are seeking approval for the first clinical trials involving humans. What do you think about such a system for raising infants? Share your opinion in the comments. Humane has released its first product, a smartphone without a display called AI Pin. It features a small laser projector that projects images onto the user's palm. In addition, it incorporates GPT-4 functions and offers intuitive control methods. The device attaches to clothing and performs nearly all the functions of a traditional smartphone with a voice assistant, making calls, setting reminders, and answering questions. The gadget can be controlled through a touch panel or a projection display that shows the image on the owner's hand. The innovation recognizes the rotation and tilt of the palm, as well as the gesture of closing the index and thumb fingers. The voice assistant operates based on the GPT-4 language model and has a wide range of knowledge. It can provide information about any product, choose a song on a given topic, and even compose and send a text message to a contact from the phone book. The built-in camera allows the smartphone to take photos with a voice command or a double tap on the touch panel. AI Pin accesses the internet through a virtual mobile operator network in collaboration with T-Mobile. The service plan for using its features is $24 per month. The device itself will be available in the U.S. market on November 16 at a price of $699. The package includes two batteries, a rear panel, a charging case, a cable, and a power adapter. Meanwhile, the Chinese have launched high-speed trains across the sea. They connect the cities of Fuzhou and Xiamen, the largest port on the Taiwan Strait Coast. The total length of the route is 277 kilometers, with a part of it of 19 kilometers 900 meters running directly over the sea, making it the country's first overwater high-speed transport. Trains rush over the water at a maximum speed of 350 kilometers per hour, allowing passengers to admire the local beauty. The travel time between the two points is 55 minutes. Previously, it took people at least one hour and 20 minutes to travel from Fuzhou to Xiamen Port. In the port city, the road doesn't end. Tracks continue further to Zhangzhou. The journey crosses three coastal bays, Zhuanshu Bay, Maishou Bay, and Anhai Bay, via bridges that engineers claim were extremely challenging to construct. Sensational news came from the world of biotechnology. Scientists from Harvard have developed a chemical cocktail capable of reversing aging, restoring youth to living cells within a week. This method serves as an alternative to gene therapy in combating aging. Its essence lies in reprogramming cells into a younger state through the influence of chemical substances. In doing so, scientists aim to prevent excessive rejuvenation of old cells to minimize associated risks. Researchers analyzed thousands of molecules to achieve their goals and identified six chemical cocktails that restored the entire genome profile to a youthful state in less than a week. If successful in human trials, this method could be revolutionary, allowing rejuvenation through the consumption of just one pill. This is yet another proof that the future has already arrived. Engineers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have created a robotic heart that can be 3D printed. 
The soft and flexible model accurately replicates the size and shape of the patient's heart, enabling the adaptation of treatment to the personalized features of the heart's structure and dysfunction. The size and shape of this artificial organ can be customized for each patient through the construction of a three-dimensional computer model. Once the model is ready, the heart is simply printed using a polymer base, resulting in a soft, flexible casing whose precise shape corresponds to the patient's own heart. Similarly, the aorta can also be 3D printed to match the patient's heart. Those who have undergone gastroscopy know how unpleasant this procedure can be. Specialists from ANX Robotica have understood this and found an excellent solution to this problem. The Navicam system is a capsule endoscopic system with magnetic control, consisting of a single use swallowable capsule and a magnet connected to a console controlled by a doctor. The capsule contains a camera that captures images using wireless communication. The console allows the operator to control the movements and direction of the capsule, providing visualization of the entire stomach. Navicom has several advantages over standard gastroscopy as it is safe, painless, and the procedure lasts approximately 20 minutes. Moreover, a comparative study between Navicom and traditional gastroscopy showed that the accuracy of the new method is comparable to the old one. Out of 350 patients participating in the study, 335 preferred Navicom. We hope that this device will become widely accessible soon. The process of mass production of humanoid robots has begun in South Korea. A company specializing in 3D printing and design has released a batch of ultra-realistic humanoids using its fleet of wide-format 3D printers. The robots were designed and created as mechatronic works of art intended for installation in a local brand's eyewear store Gentle Monster in Hainem. There, the humanoids will simulate a robotic assembly line. All the robot parts were 3D printed with exceptionally photorealistic surface finishing, and a urethane coating was applied to ensure the durability of the photopolymer 3D printed components. In the future, the company plans to establish a metal 3D printing line to transition to manufacturing more durable and functional robot models. The day has come. The world's first living robots are now capable of something crucial for the survival of any species. Reproduction. You heard it right. Now robots will be able to create new versions of themselves in an unconventional way. Organisms known as xenobots are employing a completely new form of biological self-replication. The researchers found that these machines can gather hundreds of individual cells and combine them to create offspring, xenobots. After a few days, the offspring evolve to look and move just like their parents. The offspring can then repeat this process many times. While xenobots can independently produce offspring, the system usually dies shortly after, allowing the parents to witness the growth of their offspring. Researchers turned to artificial intelligence for assistance. They discovered that a design designed AI parent could use its mouth to compress stem cells into a round offspring, and then the offspring produced grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and so on. The research results raise certain concerns, but the researchers anticipate more optimistic outcomes. They believe their system could contribute to the development of various technologies, from living machines that clean microplastics to new medicines. Japanese scientists have developed a robotic finger covered with living skin, which, according to their statements, brings us closer to truly human-like robots. The finger, as demonstrated, is capable of self-healing and is positioned by researchers as an achievement blurring the boundary between living flesh and machine. Previously, scientists have created skin grafts, sheets of skin that can be stitched together, for example, in reconstructive surgery. The video shows that bending the fingers back and forth caused the appearance of natural wrinkles on the joints of the fingers, and in the case of injury, the artificial skin could self-repair like human skin with the help of collagen dressing, and according to the scientists, felt like normal skin. Developments are ongoing, but researchers face the challenge of convincing the global population that a robot with real skin will not cause horror and disgust. Engineers from China have succeeded in achieving what Boston Dynamics once attempted, the creation of a quadruped robot carrier for the military. According to Chinese sources, this is the world's largest bionic robot on four legs. It can move at speeds up to 10 kilometers per hour and carry up to 160 kilograms. Its potential missions include transporting equipment and conducting reconnaissance in hard to reach and dangerous areas. The robot operates on electricity and is reported to navigate challenging terrains, such as sand, tall grass, or snow. 
Esper Bionics has unveiled the Esper Hand, a self-learning bionic prosthetic limb with built-in artificial intelligence. It autonomously identifies muscle activity and predicts the force and range of intended movement. Weighing 380 grams, it is one of the lightest prosthetic hands in the world, and its responsiveness is three times faster than any comparable device. There are 10 million people worldwide with upper limb amputations. Most prosthetics offer weak cosmetic effects and do not fully replicate all functions of the removed limb. In contrast, the Esper Hand prosthetic with intuitive control is regulated by artificial intelligence. The bionic hand features an elegant and natural anatomical design available in five sizes. It is sturdy and functional with five movable fingers and a flexible wrist that allows users to perform even the most delicate daily tasks. Communication between the device and the human brain occurs through the Esper Control Neurocomputer Interface. The robotic prosthetic is equipped with non-invasive sensors that read and process muscle activity and brain signals to trigger the desired movements in the prosthetic. Developers claim that the more intensively the user practices, the more accurately and quickly the smart hand comprehends repeated movement algorithms and learns to anticipate them. The best chef robot of 2021. Moly, the world's first fully robotic kitchen, although still far from perfection, requires a fully prepared kitchen and manual ingredient preparation. This is the kind of robot we expect after watching sci-fi movies. Moly's two robotic hands will prepare full-fledged dishes for you, alert you when it's time to replenish food supplies, suggest dishes based on your available ingredients, learn your preferences, and even partially clean kitchen surfaces. However, the system comes with a hefty price tag of $340,000 for now. Still, Moly is also available in a more budget-friendly version that lacks robotic hands, but includes touch screens, intelligent technology, and a recipe database. This kit comes at a cost of $135,000. Returning to Earth and moving on to the company, BYD. Let's see how they tested the amphibious mode of their SUV in real conditions. The premium class electric SUV Yangwang U8, unveiled earlier this year, has a range of interesting features, with one of the standout capabilities being its ability to navigate through deep bodies of water and even fully swim. The Yangwang U8 is equipped with four electric motors, with a combined power output of 1,184 horsepower. Additionally, it incorporates independent suspension adjustment technology on each wheel, allowing the vehicle, for instance, to execute a 360-degree turn in place. However, the most impressive feature is its capability to traverse bodies of water. The base model can dive into water up to a depth of one meter, while more advanced versions of the vehicle can submerge themselves to a depth of one meter and 40 centimeters. If the SUV ventures into waters deeper than these values, it will automatically switch to a special swimming mode. Using onboard sensors, the SUV raises its suspension, turns off the engine, switches the internal heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system to recirculation mode closes the windows, and opens a hatch to provide passengers with the means for emergency evacuation. According to the automaker, in this mode the vehicle can remain afloat for up to 30 minutes and swim at a speed of 3 km per hour using its wheels as propellers. The premium version of the Yangwang U8 is set to go on sale in October at a price of around $149,000. In recent times, the concept of flying cars and trucks has been gaining popularity. Another futuristic model from Xping was presented at Tech Day 2023, the eVTOL flying car, combining the design of a supercar with an intelligent cabin that seamlessly transitions between driving and flying modes. Depending on the mode, the steering wheel and dashboard transform accordingly. And this is not just a render. At the exhibition, a real car embodying this crazy futuristic concept could be seen. We are eagerly anticipating live video tests of the flying car on real roads in all available modes of transportation. In the world of fashion, there are some incredibly amazing innovations. What do you think about a dress using neurotechnology? It changes color based on brain waves transmitted through one of the world's first brain computer interfaces with 1,024 channels. The dress is called pangolin or lizard, probably due to the resemblance of its scales to the mammals. The data collected from sensors are processed, analyzed, and then transformed into signals that illuminate 32 neopixels and 32 servo-powered scales. The principle is something like this. The higher the brain activity, the more they light up, the scales were 3D printed. The 3D printed dresses were the first demonstration of Agilus 30 material from Stratasys, which has extreme flexibility and durability and represents a big step forward for 3D printed fashion design. The Chinese company Ehang has announced that it conducted the first unmanned flight of its passenger carrying air taxi in Japan. 
the two-seater vehicle EH216 flew 30 meters above the ground, allowing two passengers to enjoy the surrounding maritime scenery for 3.5 minutes. In Japan, Ehang's interests are promoted by a consortium called MASK, which is an aerospace industry cluster in Okayama. Japanese media coverage of Ehang's air taxi flights avoids mentioning the Chinese origin of the project. Nevertheless, this Chinese manufacturer is rightfully considered the world's first to establish mass production of autonomous, fully electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. The EH-216 air taxi can carry two passengers or a useful load of up to 260 kilograms for 20 minutes at speeds of up to 130 kilometers per hour, roughly covering a 35-kilometer flight. For Japan's rugged and island coastline, this will be a real boon not only for tourism, but also for traveling from one point to another. Often a straight line distance of 5 to 10 kilometers in Japan can require several hours and a number of transfers, while an air taxi will solve the transportation issue in a matter of minutes. The humanoid robot Apollo is heading to the moon, not right at this moment, but developers from Aptronic are collaborating with NASA to adapt it for space missions apparently to show what the space agency expects from the robot. Aptronic engineers demonstrated Valkyrie, a humanoid bot that was developed specifically for NASA, but never underwent significant testing. In contrast, Apollo is intended to serve as an assistant to astronauts living either on space stations in orbit or on bases on the moon or Mars. Apollo was originally designed for industrial applications in sectors such as logistics, manufacturing the hotel industry, and even healthcare. Now the robot will be adapted for specific space functions. Detailed information is currently unavailable. From what is known, NASA aims to expand the robot's autonomy and maneuverability. The creator of the hoverboard of Chinese-American origin, Shane Chin, has unveiled a unique electric vehicle called Shane. The model resembles a cast iron mortar, but has only two wheels accommodating five passengers in its cabin. Shane has a streamlined body and compact dimensions comparable to a small crossover. The innovation promises exceptional efficiency, safety, and greater capacity. Its main feature is the two large wheels responsible for controlling the electric vehicle. Thanks to this design, the car can rotate 360 degrees in place. Shane remains stable due to the displacement of the center of gravity relative to the wheels. This means that even during rapid acceleration or braking, the body stays in its original position. The wheels also incorporate regenerative shock absorbers, increasing the vehicle's range between charges. An active spoiler is installed at the rear, rising during braking or reaching a specific speed. Instead of side doors for entry, the front part of the vehicle shifts upward. Inside the cabin, there is no steering wheel or pedals for controlling the car. Instead, a special control panel is provided, located between the front passengers. The technical specifications of Shane are currently unknown, and the timeline for the release of a real prototype or the vehicle's availability has not been disclosed. However, experts have recognized the concept as quite promising. Some shoplifters have become so audacious that they don't bother hiding. They load up their carts and then bypass security gates or roll their loot through an emergency exit. Sounds too simple, but what if you find out that such carts prevented theft of goods worth more than $100 million? These carts are supplied by gatekeeper systems. Beyond the store's premises, their wheels lock up, attracting the attention of security and deterring thieves. By combining a radio frequency, enabled perimeter antenna, and self-locking smart wheels helps keep your property at your location, significantly reducing store operation costs. The range at which the locking mechanism engages can be customized according to the customer's preferences, and the battery on each cart lasts for at least five years. How do you like this solution to combating shoplifters? Share your opinion in the comments. The Ultra Blue Mobile Robot offers a unique solution to automated truck loading in that it can autonomously drive to and from dock doors into truck trailers without additional infrastructure. No rails or in-ground equipment are required, making this a flexible solution that can operate in a variety of warehouse layouts. Once at a trailer, Ultra Blue transports, lifts, and places individual boxes or cases directly into the trailer. Ultra Blue can be integrated into approved existing material handling equipment such as telescopic conveyors, flexible powered conveyors, carton erectors, inline case weighing systems, sortation systems, barcode scanners, depalletizing systems, and more. The robot performs these steps without human labor intervention or lifting of loads. This opens opportunities for associates to be better leveraged for more important and non-repeatable tasks. 
Let's move to Japan, where in the near future, autonomous vehicles will become widespread on the roads. This means that the interaction between pedestrians and vehicles not operated by humans will significantly increase. Researchers are thinking about how to make these interactions safer. They have come up with a new and unusual method. Japanese innovators suggest installing giant protruding eyes on the cars. They have already conducted experiments with autonomous golf carts to see if this innovation can reduce the number of traffic incidents. Researchers found that people surprisingly will to cross the road when an eye-catching golf cart approached. Participants stated that they felt safer and more confident crossing the road when the protruding eyes were looking at them. The excavator robot autonomously designed and constructed a wall using readily available stones. A team from the ETH Zurich Research Institute introduced a construction robot named HEAP. The machine is equipped with a satellite navigation system, an inertial measurement unit, a control module, and LiDAR sensors on the cabin and excavator arm. HEAP built a 6-meter high wall of boulders using the dry masonry method without human intervention. The robot first scanned the construction site, created a 3D map, and then recorded the location of the stones, each weighing several tons. The robot then lifted each stone from the ground, used computer vision technology to estimate its weight and center of gravity, and captured its three-dimensional shape. The automatic algorithm on the heap control module calculated the optimal placement for each stone to construct a sturdy wall, 6 meters high and 65 meters long. Construction was carried out using dry stone walling, where stones are simply stacked on top of each other without mortar. Heat placed 20 to 30 stones in a single construction session. The main advantage of this project is the ability to use only stones located nearby, without the need to transport building materials. This approach helps save on freight transportation costs and reduces carbon emissions. OpenAI secretly developed a powerful artificial intelligence, according to information obtained by Reuters from informed sources. Several OpenAI employees reportedly wrote to the board of directors, informing them of a significant discovery that could lead to the emergence of a powerful artificial intelligence potentially harmful to humans. These letters and the artificial intelligence algorithm became the basis for accusations against Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, of insufficient transparency. In other words, he allegedly concealed these developments from the board of directors. Reuters was unable to obtain a copy of the letter itself, and its authors declined to provide any comments. Official company representatives also refused to clarify the situation. However, Mira Murati, who declined the rebel leadership's offer to take Altman's place, sent an internal message to employees, mentioning a project called QSTAR and a letter to the board of directors. According to some company employees, the QSTAR project could be a breakthrough in the development of the so-called strong or universal artificial intelligence, as stated by one source. According to OpenAI's definition, universal artificial intelligence surpasses humans in most economically significant metrics. From the fragmentary information about the development of QSTAR, it appears that Altman and everyone within OpenAI were shocked by the first manifestation of what can be called superintelligence. This artificial intelligence started providing accurate answers to mathematical problems without training. This and in a broader sense, the ability to discern truth from falsehood remained a fundamental barrier for the current linguistic model GPT. This implies the capability for self-learning and self-improvement based on autonomously acquired data. In the spring, Ilya Sutzkever, co-founder and former chief scientist of OpenAI, admitted that he believed GPT-4 could grow into a universal artificial intelligence and even provided a timeline. The danger of the tool would become apparent in just a couple of years. It is likely that the breakthrough occurred significantly earlier. Once again, this raises questions about the responsibility of companies developing artificial intelligence and control over artificial intelligence. Researchers from the University of California, San Diego, have developed a new method for 3D printing artificial muscles and wearable devices. The researchers demonstrated that by controlling the printing temperature of a liquid crystal elastomer, they can regulate the material's stiffness and its ability to compress. Moreover, they can change the stiffness of different sections of the same material by subjecting it to heat. As proof of concept, the researchers used the same inks to 3D print several samples with stiffness and compressibility ranging from 0 to 30%. For example, one area of the structure can contract similar to muscles, while another can be as flexible as tendons. Miso Robotics has launched a crowdfunding campaign for the development of kitchen robots. The company's robot Flippy is designed to improve kitchen staff productivity rather than replace them. The system can be mounted on the floor or above the working space of a traditional kitchen. Miso AI software enables robots to participate in the preparation of various dishes, including chicken nuggets, American-style potato wings, french fries, cheese sticks, hash browns, onion rings, and more. Moreover, the robot is capable of handling several hundred orders per hour in a fully autonomous mode. 
Japan has developed hyper-realistic 3D masks that allow people to try on another person's face. Tokyo-based store Kamenya Omote, specializing in party props, theatrical, and film projects, has started producing three-dimensional masks that mimic the human face. These hyper-realistic models allow people to literally try on the appearance of a stranger. You can distinguish masks printed on a 3D printer from a real face only by motionless lips and a frozen gaze. Thanks to a special technology, a high-resolution image of a person is evenly placed on the plastic surface of the model. Store owner Shuhai Okawara mentioned that since the launch of the project, he has received several thousand requests from people willing to provide their portraits for mass production. The product appeared on the shelves of Kaminya Omote in the spring of 2021, and the cost of a mask is approximately $950. The Japanese entrepreneur is confident that despite the high price, the masks will be in demand as they have already generated significant interest among buyers. In the future, the store owner plans to diversify the lineup by using photos of people from different ethnic groups for model production. The store owner clarifies that he is not the first to venture into creating hyper-realistic masks, but is capable of establishing mass production, producing about 100 identical models per month. Many people want to have a copy of their own face, and we receive financial support from them to develop the project, says Okawara. He doesn't find the masks frightening and does not believe they pose a threat. In the future, facial replication could become a common phenomenon. It would be interesting, for example, to preserve the appearance of one's youth or change one's face at will, emphasizes the owner of Kaminya Omote. Animatronics is the next step after computer graphics in the world of cinema. Animatronics is a mechanism that imitates the movements and expressions of a living being. This technology is applied in the entertainment industry in cases where the character either does not exist or the intended action is too risky to use real actors or animals. The internal structure of these living machines is similar to that of humans. Frames made of stainless steel and aluminum alloys instead of a skeleton, hinge joints serving as joints. Mechanical drives like muscles transmit movement to the limbs and electrical Electrical wires act as the nervous system, connecting the parts of the robots into a cohesive organism. The top of the metallic interior is covered with a casing made of plastic materials. For finishing, foam latex or silicone is used, creating skin with hair, feathers, and fangs handled by makeup artists. Machines are most often powered by pneumatics, compressed air, electric means, and in some cases, hydraulics, oil under pressure. Animator puppeteers control the mechanical creature, ensuring the realism of the robot's movements and synchronizing its activities with sound, and other effects. Essentially, animatronics is a set of technologies and methods for creating special effects involving moving parts of the human or animal body, extraterrestrial beings, or zombies, anything that can be alive in cinema. Sometimes it's hard to believe that the creature on screen is actually a robot. It turns out that such technologies are still used in blockbuster filming. Computer graphics has not yet replaced the big old school methods. These animatronic characters can speak, move their eyebrows and ears, and in general, change their facial expressions. To create an animatronic character, they first sculpt its life-size sculpture. If only the head is needed, they sculpt only the head. Then this sculpture is used to create a mold needed to cast the character's skin. During the molding process, the original sculpture, so lovingly made by the sculptor and adorned with all necessary details, is usually destroyed. Latex is then poured into the mold, a material that will mimic the skin or fur of the creature. Once the latex hardens, it is taken out, painted in hair or individual strands. Eyebrows or mustaches are added on top, and the external skin of the character is ready. Masters also create a scholar skeleton for the monster inside or onto which various servos pneumatics, or hydraulic motors and cables that will control the soft latex skin. All this mechanism can be controlled manually or remotely. Specialists have endowed the robots with the ability to frown, smile, or raise their eyebrows, achieved through the movement of mechanical components beneath silicone masks. Naturally in the future, creators of animatronic beings plan to incorporate artificial intelligence to enable them to react to their surroundings, perform more complex tasks, and resemble us even more. Epson introduced its autonomous dual-armed robot, WorkSense W01, capable of seeing, sensing, thinking, and working. This intelligent robot with two hands is equipped with a variety of internal sensors, such as cameras and force sensors, and is designed for virtually autonomous manufacturing in a variety of new and diverse applications. The robot features four cameras on its head unit and two cameras mounted on its arms, providing it with human-like vision, enabling precise determination of the position and orientation of objects in three-dimensional space. 
The robot can perform delicate assembly, transportation, and other tasks requiring human-like force control to avoid damaging objects. The robot's two seven-axis arms move like human hands, operating independently of each other, allowing it to perform tasks beyond the capabilities of a single-arm robot, such as tightening a screw in a component with one hand while holding the component in place with the other. Now let's talk about the upcoming transportation revolution. For the last 10 years, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies has been developing the technology for high-speed passenger and cargo vacuum transport originally proposed by Elon Musk. Their latest invention, the Express Freight System, consists of a fully automated vacuum pipeline, levitating capsules, a conveyor belt, and electric doors for simultaneous loading and unloading. Proceeding the Express Freight System was a technical and economic study completed in 2019, which determined that the high-speed vacuum cargo transport system would be cheaper than air or road transportation. In collaboration with the British design firm Tangerine, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies developed a cargo transport system that meets four requirements. Integration into existing infrastructure, maximizing cargo space inside the capsule, minimizing loading time, and adaptability to various customer demands. As a result, cargo containers with side doors for unloading and loading were designed, slightly smaller than the larger containers developed by Hyperloop for maritime transport needs. Upon arrival through the vacuum tube at the destination, the capsules are automatically unloaded. The containers with delivered cargo are replaced with new ones. A conveyor belt moving parallel to the tube carries the containers away from the capsules. The capsule design was slightly modified to match the dimensions of air cargo containers. In the future, the company plans to integrate the express freight system into to a larger passenger transportation infrastructure. Judging by the previously proposed plan, the passenger system will consist of similar capsules resembling aircraft fuselages, moving like maglev trains inside a vacuum tube at speeds up to 1,220 kilometers per hour. In May of this year, Hyperloop TT and its partners received 800 million euros from the European Union to build a commercial transportation network in Italy. If the company manages to realize its plans, it is highly likely that in the next decade, we will witness a true transportation revolution, entering a new era of passenger and cargo transport. American engineer and YouTuber Alan Pan loves snakes so much that he decided to help them replay evolution and kindly restore the legs they lost in the distant past. He created a design that essentially resembles a robot with four legs, each equipped with three joints and two service. The robot's interior can accommodate a snake for movement. It is reported that all the necessary parts were designed and 3D printed by Pan himself. The mechanical foot joint rotates freely to adapt to any uneven surface. The robot's gait is inspired by lizards that Alan observed in a pet store. The main body of the robot consists of a transparent plastic tube. Currently, the entire system is still a work in progress. The engineer seems to be using a servo controller with a hard-coded walking sequence. Clone Robotics is going to provide the market with androids featuring the most human-like upper limbs. The development is based on Mick Kibben Air Muscles, invented in the 1950s for use in prosthetics. Essentially, these are mesh tubes with a sealed inner layer that operates in pairs, similar to human muscles. One serves as a flexor and the other as an extensor. Movement is facilitated by hydraulic or pneumatic drive. However, clone engineers didn't want a bulky external pumps, so they filled the shell with liquid acetaldehyde and ran a powerful heating element through it. Under the influence of the current, the element quickly vaporizes the liquid. The temperature rises from 20 to 70 degrees Celsius and the pressure increases 6.6 .6 times. This approach provides a truly rapid contraction of the artificial muscle, but more time is required for its relaxation as the liquid cools. The bones of the artificial arm closely mimic the structure of human limbs and the joints provide almost the same range of movements as those available to humans. Developers claim that the robotic hand has 27 degrees of freedom, including wrist and thumb movements, equivalent to those of the human hand. Deliveries of the clone artificial arm are set to begin this year, and the product's price has not been disclosed. The company's next project will involve developing a torso with a rigid spine, including 124 muscles in the neck, shoulder girdle, arms, chest, and upper back. The robotic torso will move on a battery-powered platform. Xpeng also unveiled a six-wheeled minivan with a passenger drone in the trunk. This innovative marvel boasts a unique design consisting of two parts, allowing seamless transition between ground and aerial modes. The aerial module provides vertical takeoff for low-altitude flights, while the ground module cleverly encompasses the aerial module, enabling ground transportation. The ground module of the modular flying car accommodates four to five passengers and is equipped with an extended-range hybrid power system capable of multiple recharges for the aerial module. 
The aerial module is a fully electric piloted aircraft. It supports both manual and automatic driving modes, ensuring flight convenience. In addition to personal use, the modular flying car potentially finds applications in public services such as emergency rescue services, effectively meeting both government and private needs. The Chinese company Hypershell has developed the Omega Exoskeleton, which stands out from its counterparts by being controlled by artificial intelligence. The exoskeleton increases the performance of its wearer's movements during hikes and walks, allowing them to do so without the need for energy drinks. With it, people without special training can become tireless explorers and travelers. The device weighs only 2 kilograms, can be folded into a compact form and attached to a backpack. When needed, it can be worn around the waist and adjusted according to the specific individual's needs. Needs. Inside the exoskeleton, there is an 800-watt electric asynchronous motor providing biomechanical support that compensates for up to 30 kilograms of the wearer's body weight. This enables people to walk and carry loads with significantly less effort. In these days, the electric airship Pathfinder 1 took to the skies for the first time, and its manufacturer LTA Research hopes that it will mark the beginning of a new era in environmentally friendly aviation. Co-founder of Google, Sergey Brin, played a significant role in financing this project. At a length of 124.5 meters, Pathfinder 1 has become the largest flying machine since the giant and infamous Hindenburg airship of the 1930s. But unlike it, it uses inert helium for lift, rather than the flammable hydrogen. Pathfinder 1 is built entirely from the ground up using new materials and technologies from modern unmanned aerial vehicles, such as remote control, electric motors, and LIDARs. The helium filling the shell is contained in 13 giant nylon compartments and is controlled using lasers. The rigid protective frame, covered with lightweight synthetic material Tedlar, consists of 10,000 polymer tubes reinforced with carbon fiber connected by 3,000 titanium fittings. 12 electric motors powered by diesel generators and batteries provide vertical takeoff and landing. The estimated maximum speed of the new electric airship is 120 kilometers per hour, but initial test flights will be conducted at much lower speeds. A series of increasingly ambitious flight test lies ahead before Pathfinder 1 moves to Akron, Ohio, where LTA plans to build an even larger airship, Pathfinder 3. The company ultimately aims to create a family of airships to aid in disaster relief efforts and provide zero-carbon emission passenger transport. Pathfinder 1 can carry approximately four tons of cargo in addition to the crew, water ballast, and fuel. However, future humanitarian airships will require much greater payload capacity. Swiss company Ascento has introduced the world to the Ascento Guard, a security robot with a distinctive design featuring wheeled legs and a friendly, almost anthropomorphic face. The robot is designed for patrolling large, open areas and is targeted at industries such as manufacturing, data centers, pharmaceutical companies, and warehouses. The unique wheeled leg formula of the Ascento Guard ensures precise movement across various surfaces. The robot is equipped with thermal and infrared cameras for surveillance. In the event of a security threat, such as an intrusion, it can notify security personnel through a special companion app. The robot has a movement speed of approximately 4.5 kilometers per hour. Then two-way encrypted communication is facilitated through built-in speakers and a microphone. Toyota Research Institute, whose developments in the field of domestic robots are closely observed around the world, has introduced a new direction. As the developers have revealed, the idea is that robots should improve the quality of everyday life for everyone. To achieve this goal, they have identified what they call challenging tasks that are intriguing to work on. One of the latest challenges is the autonomous fulfillment of orders in grocery stores. This problem serves as an excellent way to stimulate the development of mobile and manipulative capabilities, as it involves numerous complex tasks for robots, including perceiving and manipulating a large number of objects, navigating in a constantly changing environment, and responding to unexpected circumstances. The future of parking vehicles has reached a whole new level. Intelligent parking robots are now readily available to park vehicles smartly and efficiently. Smart parking has been a developing concept for a while now, but Jimu has taken the leap. Jimu has constructed the future of parking. This smart and fully autonomous parking is unlike anything you have ever seen. Intelligent parking robots are a smart and efficient parking system. These robots have developed software and algorithms. They have made parking convenient for drivers. Parking robots are uniquely made with two pieces. The design has center-positioned robot arms and differential driving units. The driver only has to put the required parameters on a screen at a transfer zone. The robots then take the vehicle from there without creating any trouble for the driver. A Japanese engineer has created a spider-shaped night lamp that can move around and guide the way in the house during nighttime. 
When we need to go to the bathroom or the refrigerator at night, we usually have to turn on the lights in the entire room or use the flashlight on our smartphones. This enthusiast decided to solve this problem by proposing to use such a night robot guide. Online users noted that the device looks quite creepy and frightening. It would be much calmer to reach the desired place in the dark without such a companion. However, the engineer stated that he made this robot for children. We hope they appreciated their father's idea. The Danish company Autofuel has come up with a robotic refueling system that will free drivers from routine tasks at gas stations. The application not only automatically dispenses fuel, but also identifies customers and processes payments. Users need to register their vehicle information, including the car model, fuel type, payment details, and license plate number. This information is stored in the database, eliminating the need for drivers to provide it every time. Additionally, users will need to install a special fuel cap that facilitates the robotic processes of opening and refueling. Instructions for the driver, such as where to park for refueling, will be displayed on the screen. The robotic manipulator will autonomously open the fuel cap and insert the fuel nozzle, allowing the driver to monitor the progress on the screen or focus on other tasks. According to the British analytics company Insight, robotic refueling is a growing business. By 2028, the European market alone is expected to reach approximately $50 billion. Exploring lava caves on the Moon and Mars is a task best left to robots. These caves could serve as temporary bases or storage facilities for astronauts, yet they remain uncharted and potentially hazardous. Consequently, diverse engineering groups around the world are designing robots to investigate such caves. A recent series of experiments took place at the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence with the support of five European countries, resulting in a robot group named Box X. It includes three autonomous rovers of varying scales and complexity. The first to go into the unknown is the simplest device, paving the way for more intricate and expensive machines after reconnaissance. Notably, the largest robot carries a charging station for itself and its smaller counterparts, given the considerable cave distances without access to sunlight for battery recharging. The question of communication among robots and with humans remains open, prompting anticipation for further details and more serious trials in environments simulating conditions on other planets. Canadian robotics student Mikhail Ashkar has built an experimental robot that continues moving on a treadmill even with the motors turned off, thanks to its counterbalance. Drawing inspiration from the kinesiological features of animals, Ashkar created a bilaterally symmetric robot equipped with metal rods as bones, 3D printed polymer pulleys for joints, and thin steel cables to mimic tendons. Like a real dog, each of the four legs has three joints, mechanically coordinated with the others. During the robot's first test, the developer was in for a surprise. As soon as he activated the robot's drives, it continued moving on its own, without motor support, with the treadmill being the only component necessary to sustain movement. Specifically, it reaches speeds of up to 6 km per hour on the treadmill. However, the robot is not a perpetual motion machine and still uses its motors for movement, such as jumping and stepping over obstacles. Who do you think would win in a battle between a human and a plant? The answer is not so clear if the plant is armed. You won't believe it, but the machete in the video is controlled by this seemingly harmless potted flower. The system uses an open source microcontroller connected to the plant to read weak electrical signals in its leaves. With the help of specialized software, these signals are real-time matched with the movements of an industrial robot's joints holding the machete. Thus, the machete's movement is determined based on data received from the plant. Essentially, the plant serves as the robot's brain. Working with heavy loads often leads to back problems and lower back pain. Or you can use the following invention. EvoBot is a dynamically stable system based on the principle of an inverted pendulum. While previous developments were limited to performing simple tasks such as pushing and pulling items, EvoBot has taken a step forward. Unlike ordinary robots, EvoBot constantly maintains balance, allowing it to move on uneven surfaces, including slopes. This robot's modular system can be used practically anywhere, from logistics and delivery to warehouse cargo handling, making EvoBot an excellent human assistant. EvoBot can extend two arms to secure items for carrying, bend four legs on the floor to serve as a platform for placing items, or bend in a V-shape to secure a box between its legs and slide it to its destination. But if you're like this guy, the EvoBot will only get in the way. 
The company Boston Dynamics used the popular chatbot chat GPT from OpenAI, along with some other open source language models, to train their robotic dog Spot to respond to human speech. Now Spot conducts tours around the company's premises, answering tourists' questions. The team provided Spot with a very brief script for each room in their facilities. The bot combined this script with the images it captures from its cameras, allowing it to gather more information about what it sees before generating a response. According to the company, Spot uses models for visual question answering, image retrieval, and generating responses about the images. Additionally, the robot was equipped with a speaker to convert text into speech, and its mouth movements were synchronized with the spoken phrases. The RoboDog performed the role of a tour guide and was able to describe its surroundings. However, some unexpected incidents occurred that no one had trained it for. For instance, when asked about its parents, the robot suddenly approached some old robots standing nearby and pointed at them. Share your thoughts in the comments about this incident. Do you believe robots have started to go out of control? Space Perspective has successfully sold over 1,600 tickets for its space flights, generating approximately $200 million in revenue. It's worth noting that back in 2021, Space Perspective opened reservations for its Neptune spacecraft, which will ascend to the stratosphere using a high-altitude balloon. The airtight capsule accommodating eight tourists and a pilot will ascend to an altitude of 30 kilometers. Neptune will ascend smoothly at a speed of 19 kilometers per hour, with the entire flight lasting six hours. The size of the balloon balloon lifting the spacecraft is comparable to that of a football stadium. Ultimately, for a price of $125,000, passengers in the capsule will be able to enjoy the view of the Earth against the backdrop of the darkness of outer space, an experience deemed comparable to that of astronauts. According to Space Perspective, commercial flights for Neptune are set to begin at the end of 2024. Engineers from Japan have created an inflatable avatar robot that integrates with the telepresence system. Using cables and servo motors, it gestures and moves, allowing a remote user to communicate and interact with people. Modern avatar robots can be divided into two types, complex and expensive humanoid robots that enable physical interaction with the environment and simpler and more affordable telepresence systems, such as tablets on wheels. They enable people to simulate presence through video calls, move around a space, and survey it with a camera. Engineers are already exploring ways to improve the capabilities of these simpler systems to make them more versatile and useful. In the future, with technological advancements, the distinction between these two types of devices may disappear entirely. The robot was tested at a symposium held in a hybrid format, with some participants physically present in the audience and others participating online. The robot moved around the audience, transmitting images to 600 online participants. Engineers plan to conduct more detailed studies on the capabilities of the inflatable body using computer model. They also intend to expand the range of available gestures and develop new scenarios for using the inflatable robot, creating more opportunities for remote communication. At the recently held robotics exhibition in America, Samsung showcased its home companion robots once again. Samsung Bot I and Samsung Bot Handy. Samsung Bot I is an interactive robot that uses balance control technology. It moves like a living creature, performing dynamic and realistic movements. When it is near the user, it moves alongside and offers various forms of support. When it is away from the user, it performs tasks for the user using telepresence functionality. Samsung Bot Handy is a robot that assists with various household chores using its manipulator. This year, the company introduced a new technology to the robot called Dish Handling. This technology allows the robot to pick up items after recognizing multiple objects and analyzing the surrounding environment. This progress shows that robots are not just concepts for exhibitions. They are still in development and will someday become real consumer products. If you are partial to four-legged robots, then the new product from Unitree Go2 will definitely break your heart. This nimble little robot has not only mastered entertaining and incredibly cool tricks, but also gained the ability to communicate using GPT chat. True, the robot can't respond in a human-like manner, but this is not typical for real dogs either. However, GoTo understands what you are saying and interprets your speech into a set of commands it can comprehend. If the robot doesn't know how to do something, it will immediately write its own code in real time and execute the command. This, along with its ability to entertain you with tricks and follow you wherever you go, makes the robot a true companion. 
As for its specifications, GoTo's engines are 30% more powerful than its predecessor, enabling it to maintain an impressive balance and overcome various obstacles. It can also run at speeds ranging from 9 to 12.5 kilometers per hour, depending on the model. Additionally, the robot is equipped with an ultra-wide-angle LiDAR and HD cameras for real-time environment display and orientation. By the way, using its camera, the robot can take your photo, and if you equip it with a robotic arm, it can even bring you water and throw out the trash. Whisk Aero, a subsidiary of Boeing specializing in electric flying taxis, conducted its first public demonstration flights of electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles in Los Angeles. Whisk showed its fifth-generation transportation vehicle in action. Whisk announced an economic partnership with Long Beach in 2022. In July of this year, the company also completed its first public demonstration of an autonomous EV tow aircraft during EAA Air Venture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Whisk is already developing its sixth-generation aircraft, expected to accommodate four passengers and luggage, fly up to 145 kilometers on a single charge, have autonomous capabilities, and charge in just 15 minutes. The company Whisk began its operations as Z Aero in 2010, later merging with Kitty Hawk Corporation. When the company recognized the potential of its fifth-generation electric air taxi, the decision was made to spin off the aircraft and the team into a separate company called Whisk. Aerospace giant Boeing invested in this project and became a company investor. The potential of this air taxi is truly impressive. Once the company succeeds in implementing all its developments, the passenger transportation industry will indeed reach a new level. The German company Drone Champions League tested the Big Drone, a piloted drone capable of performing aerobatic maneuvers with a person on board. From time to time, DCL had increased the size of drones, but even relatively large compared to amateur quadcopters, they slipped out of sight at speeds of about 160 km per hour. It is kept in the air by 12 large propellers. The 98-kilogram device reaches speeds of up to 140 km per hour, with a total power of 220 horsepower from its electric motors. The Maximum payload is 167 kilograms, meaning inside the big drone, one passenger in protective gear can comfortably fit. During the first test flight, a mannequin took a place in the cockpit. With it on board, the big drone performed a variety of aerobatic maneuvers, turns, rolls, flips, and more. For many years, people were afraid that the Boston Dynamics robot Atlas would somehow threaten their safety, for example, by replacing them in the workplace. However, those fears about Atlas were unfounded. On the other hand, Stretch is a different story. The robot successfully handles monotonous warehouse tasks, as emphasized in its new video, no backflips, just the right job, safety, and ease of use. DHL Supply Chain is implementing Stretch to automate trailer unloading and support warehouse staff. This Boston Dynamics robot is soon to take over someone's job. The Flying Sedan Model A from Aleph Aeronautics has been shown live for the first time. This is one of those cases where no one believed the renders and concepts, but the manufacturer managed to bring the idea to life. Sales of the world's first fully functional flying car will begin in 2025. Information about the car first appeared in October 2022. The world was skeptical about Alef Aeronautics' idea, perceiving it as a concept that was unlikely to materialize. However, the skepticism was unwarranted. The car's body resembles a classic automobile. At first glance, you wouldn't think this vehicle can fly, but upon closer inspection, you can see that the prototype's hood features a mesh grill. Through the mesh, four electric propellers are visible. In addition to the propellers, there are regular wheels. This means the car can both drive and fly. There is also a convertible mode. The roof folds back, allowing the passenger and driver to enjoy the scenery from above. The car's design was developed by Hiraishi Rizagi, who previously worked on interiors for Bugatti and Jaguar cars. In the summer of 2023, ALF Aeronautics CEO announced that their startup became the first among similar projects to receive an airworthiness certificate from the Federal Aviation Administration, enabling the company to begin flight tests. The Japanese startup TMS UK has unveiled a spider robot designed for inspecting sewer pipes. As wittily noted by AI Spectrum editor Evan Ackerman, if it's meant for the sewer, it could potentially infiltrate your home. However, SPD-1 was created in response to a staffing shortage in a company servicing roads and sewer pipes, so the project might indeed be quite viable. The robot measuring 21 by 28 centimeters and weighing about 3 kilograms is powered and controlled remotely via a cable. Its built-in camera allows real-time video streaming, and the spider-like eyes of the robot are actually LED spotlights and sensors it uses to assess its surroundings. Moreover, these robots can operate in groups of 2 to 3. Neuralink will implant a chip in 11 volunteers simultaneously. 
Elon Musk managed to obtain approval from the FDA to implant his chips in 11 patients at once. Despite the standard testing procedure typically involving the implantation of a new chip in one patient, followed by a year of observation. It's worth noting that Neuralink implants are ideally designed not only to partially restore communication abilities for people with limited capabilities, but also to literally help those who are paralyzed regain mobility. Now with permission to conduct human trials, Musk's company plans to operate on 11 patients in 2024. The cost of each operation is estimated at $10,500, but insurance companies will have to pay $40,000 for each patient. The startup has already received applications from thousands of patients, but by next year, 11 volunteers will be selected for the first phase of the experiment. Neuralink has not yet completed work on the chip, and there are plans to extend its battery life in the future. The company also intends to create a chip for the spinal cord. Thus, the brain implant will be used to restore the ability to communicate with the outside world and control bionic prosthetics, while the spinal cord implant will enable the patient to regain mobility in their own limbs. Ubitech Robotics has unexpectedly released a new video featuring its humanoid robot Walker X. While it was previously positioned as a smart butler and even a family companion, the company is now offering a look at its ability to intelligently recognize and manipulate objects in a manufacturing environment. This is partly not surprising. The company announced a couple of years ago that the robot was ready for sale, but there had been no news about Walker X for quite some time. Perhaps the robot turned out to be too expensive for household use, prompting Ubitex to offer it to more financially viable customers. Only time will tell whether the robot will find its niche in this sector. Nayla Robotics has launched a fast food robot, which according to company representatives, can independently fry chicken wings, prepare french fries, and other items, season them, and serve them on plates. It is called Wingman and is available for rent at $2,099 per month. Priced at $22 per hour, Wingman can save employers 75% of labor costs if they operate 18 hours a day on average for 30 days a month. According to the developers, the robot with artificial intelligence and computer vision system can simultaneously prepare multiple different dishes, retrieving ingredients from the storage area, breading chicken, salting potatoes, and performing all other necessary tasks. It seems that soon humans in the fast food cooking industry might not be necessary. A group of artificial intelligence researchers from Google and the Technical University of Berlin has unveiled Palmi, a multimodal visual language model with 562 billion parameters that integrates vision and language to control robots. The developers claim it is the largest algorithm of its kind ever created and can perform numerous tasks without the need for retraining. According to Google, when given a high-level command, such as bring me rice chips from the drawer, Palmy can generate an action plan for a mobile robotic platform with a manipulator, which then executes the task without additional human intervention. To achieve this, Palm E analyzes data from the robot's camera, taking into account any dynamic changes. Google researchers claim to have observed several interesting effects apparently linked to the use of a large language model as the core of Palm E. Firstly, there is the so-called positive transfer, meaning the ability to transfer knowledge and skills acquired in performing one task to others. Secondly, according to Palm E engineers, it demonstrates new capabilities, such as multimodal logical reasoning and multifaceted reasoning. Now, Google researchers plan to explore more applications applications, including real-world scenarios such as home automation or industrial robotics. AEO from Aeolus Robotics is a versatile humanoid robot designed to improve productivity and daily convenience worldwide. Positioned as a delivery robot disinfectant companion and caregiver for the elderly, this robot can perform various tasks with its different arms. One arm can be equipped with a panel emitting ultraviolet light, while the other can have a gripper for opening doors, carrying items, and operating elevators and appliances. The robot's vision and intelligence enable it to detect if a person has fallen or requires medical assistance. These capabilities also make it a security guard capable of checking windows, detecting intruders, and identifying forgotten bags in hospitals, schools, and other institutions. To improve its security features, the robot is equipped with a 360-degree night vision camera. It uses real-time streaming video and two-way voice communication to alert security services if anything unusual occurs. Reportedly, the robot is already being used in Japan, Hong Kong, and Taipei by commercial real estate owners and elderly care companies. Interestingly, a few years ago, the robot appeared in the media, but was then positioned as a domestic assistant and butler, capable of mopping floors and getting beer out of the fridge for its owner. Unfortunately, the world has not yet seen such a version. 
researchers from the UK and Switzerland have unveiled an aerial additive manufacturing system capable of autonomously 3D printing buildings and structures. The fleet for 3D printing consists of two types of quadcopters, build drones which deposit materials layer by layer and scan drones which use standard optical cameras for continuous 3D structural mapping and quality control. The drones collaborate based on a unified blueprint adapting to changes in the construction's geometry in real time as the building progresses. In experiments, the drones were able to create a 72-layer cylinder made of polyurethane insulation foam, measuring 2 meters in height and 30 centimeters in width in just 29 minutes. The production accuracy achieved was 5 millimeters. The system operates autonomously and can be scaled for printing large structures in hard-to-reach locations. The company Skyline, promoting a robotic system for washing windows of skyscrapers, has attracted $6.5 million in funding for business development. The Osmo system includes two industrial robotic arms mounted on a suspended platform. They use LiDAR to determine the proximity to the glass and force sensors to ensure that nothing is damaged in the process. The robot operates based on artificial intelligence and machine learning. Integrated algorithms provide stability to the robotic arms in strong wind conditions and recalculate the optimal cleaning path hundreds of times per minute. Nachi Fujikoshi Spot Welding Robots provide innovative production capabilities with incredible speed. Robot motion makes minimum cycle times unbeatable. Lightweight and high rigidity design results in high acceleration and minimum vibration. Maximum speed on all axes reduces move time. All this provides dramatically improved productivity. Observing them, it becomes evident that humans will soon be unnecessary in a variety of professions. In particular, welding tasks in automobile factories have long been taken over by robots. Campsi completed the construction of the first two-story house using the largest 3D printer in Europe in just 15 days. The printer BOD2 is fully autonomous and controlled by a single person using a computer. The house will now serve as a demonstration of the capabilities of 3D printing in the construction industry before being repurposed as an office building. The startup Contoro Robotics has unveiled a system for intuitively remote controlling robots. It is aimed at providing access to the robot from any point in the world and was developed with the support of NASA and the U.S. National Science Foundation. The developers explained that their approach involves various artificial intelligence technologies, allowing human operators to assist in situations where artificial intelligence falls short. Additionally, artificial intelligence learns during interactions with humans, gradually improving its automation capabilities over time. The next-generation Tando drones are specifically designed for indoor operations, essentially replacing an entire team of security specialists. Each drone monitors temperature, checks for leaks of various substances, reads meter readings, inspects shelves, looks for intruders, and performs other important tasks. Tando's intelligence, accurate and efficient mapping, makes it the perfect fit for every space. It's easy and affordable to upgrade or add new state-of-the-art sensor hardware on drones that cover larger spaces than to fully upgrade fixed sensors and camera infrastructure. The drones are configured through the specialized Control Bridge control system, seamlessly integrating with other building systems. Control Bridge serves as the brain that manages Tando's operations. So Control Bridge not only notifies users of issues detected by the drones, but also assists in resolving them. The Japanese company Skeletonics has unveiled a new model of its own developed exoskeleton called Fighter. According to the description, it features the most advanced motion synchronization system to date, allowing seamless coordination between the operator and the robotic components. Theoretically, this system could enable a person to engage in combat in a ring, delivering strikes and evading them in a timely manner. In practice, however, the Skeletonics Fighter appears fragile for real battles, lacking any pilot protection, raising doubts about the exoskeleton's combat capabilities. Capabilities. Nevertheless, the Japanese engineers were truthful about the synchronization aspect, as the mechanical suit indeed boasts an impressive number of degrees of freedom. The speed and precision of the manipulator's reactions to the pilot's actions are also remarkable. However, concerns arise about the exoskeleton's power, questioning its ability to lift even a brick, let alone handle real loads. A notable characteristic of Skeletonics products is their massive size, standing at 2.5 meters or more in height. This distinct feature sets them apart and attracts attention, contributing to the successful appearances of the Arrive Exoskeleton model at Muse concerts since 2020. On the other hand, developers are consistently working on simplifying and cost-reducing the construction. Their goal is to make exoskeletons readily available in stores as ordinary tools for use in gardening or the garage. The flying car Switchblade from Samson Sky has officially entered service after 14 years of development. 
This three-wheeled vehicle transforms into an airplane at the push of a button, reaching an altitude of 400 meters and flying at a speed of 320 kilometers per hour. The Switchblade made its first flight at the Grant County International Airport in Moses Lake, Washington. It reached an altitude of 150 meters, circled, and landed approximately six minutes later. This occurred one year after the Federal Aviation Administration deemed it airworthy. Samson has received 2,300 orders for the Switchblade from 57 different countries at an initial price of $170,000. The three-wheel design allows it to be classified as a motorcycle in many jurisdictions, significantly simplifying the process of obtaining permits for road use. The two-seater vehicle accelerates to over 200 kilometers per hour with its wings and tail folded. With a hybrid power system running on regular gasoline with an octane rating of 91, the car has a range of up to 805 kilometers on a full 125 liter fuel tank. The Switchblade will be sold as an experimental home-built aircraft, requiring owners to assemble more than half of its components themselves. However, the company promises to open dedicated centers where assembly can be completed in one week using all necessary tools under the guidance of specialists. Scientists at Columbia University have created the first robot that autonomously, from scratch, learned to perceive its body and use it similarly to how infants do. Researchers placed the robot in a circle of five streaming video cameras so that it could see its movements. The robot then used a neural network to create its kinematic scheme, essentially learning how parts of its body respond to the activation of motors in the joints. Subsequently, it learned to plan movements, using this scheme to reach a set goal while avoiding obstacles in the process. It took the robot three hours to do everything everything. The robot became so aware of its body that it could identify whether it had sustained damage and locate where it occurred. In this way, researchers have created the first prototype of a machine capable of performing simple tasks autonomously without prior training, as well as detecting its own wear and malfunctions, and in the future potentially repairing itself. The Japanese company A Town is creating unique exoskeletons. For instance, the lower limb exoskeleton coma allows the operator to transport heavy loads on a straight surface and ascend stairs with them. To switch between modes, transformation is required. The exoskeleton has retractable wheels at the front of the legs and stationary ones under the heels. On the waist, there are handles with controllers through which the person controls all the actions of the structure. A town also has a full body exoskeleton, which the company positions as an extremely powerful power suit that improves human capabilities. It looks quite interesting, although a little rough. Robotics enthusiast Thomas Burns has created a retro-futuristic animatronic robot using an old Arduino-powered television and the Amazon Alexa Voice Assistant. The main idea behind the device was to design a robot that somehow made the Alexa Voice visible and had a pair of eyes for realism. The eyes themselves were printed on a 3D printer, and smart cameras with facial recognition were embedded in them for the effect of presence. China has developed a mind-reading helmet to detect if a person is viewing adult content. Such content is prohibited in the country, and to monitor and filter it from the internet and social media, the technology uses both artificial intelligence and reportedly human sensors. The helmet is specifically designed for the latter. Scientists found that an image of nudity, even if displayed for just half a second among a stream of other images, caused surprise from the viewer. This particular spike in brain waves is what the device detects. In the ground sector, companies such as Sacros Robotics are making significant strides in creating lightweight snake-like robots capable of reaching virtually any corner and crevice. For example, the Guardian S robot maneuvers in confined spaces and explores hard-to-reach areas. It navigates through uneven and rough terrain, challenging gravity by climbing vertical pipes. Guardian S is equipped with 360-degree cameras, a set of LED lights, two-way audio communication, and a variety of other sensors, including GPS. It is used for pre-launch inspections of oil and gas assets, where it can efficiently and easily identify everything from debris to structural integrity issues. The robot can be additionally equipped with sensors for detecting gas or radiation. The Swedish company Candela has announced the testing of a pre-production model of an electric passenger ferry with underwater wings. The P-12 vessel, with 30 passenger seats, lifted into the air at a speed of 16 knots and accelerated to 30 knots. The electric ferry will be cost competitive with diesel counterparts, but will have lower maintenance costs and be environmentally cleaner in operation. The vessel can be configured in different versions. The shuttle version accommodates 30 seats, space for bicycles and wheelchairs. The business version has fewer seats, ranging from 12 
to 20 and a premium class cabin. Finally, the Voyager flavor offers private use of the vessel and corresponding customization. A retractable ramp with an adjustable angle is provided for docking, allowing for varying dock heights. According to the developer, in areas with waterways within city limits, water transport is often faster, more frequent, and more comfortable than using a car. The cost of the serial product in the shuttle version will be 1,700,000 euros. A diesel ferry of a similar class would cost approximately the same, but its operation would be more expensive, not to mention environmental pollution from exhaust emissions. Airborne wing ferries, like the P-12, are seen by the company as a viable way to transition to green water transport, with plans to scale operations from river vessels vessels to maritime and eventually oceanic transportation. The startup in Biodroid, dedicated to developing innovative telepresence technologies that create a deeper connection between people and their environment, is seeking investors to fund the next generation of telepresence robots. Currently in the early stages of development, Prometheus 2.0 is a humanoid robotic body capable of reproducing a user's movements anywhere in the world in real time. In the future, using an entirely new prototype of an avatar system with advanced features currently in development, users will be able to transmit their knowledge, skills, movements, and intentions to Prometheus 2.0 through an active communication interface. In other words, the robot will be able to faithfully replicate your hand, leg, torso, and head movements while maintaining balance and coordination, providing you with comprehensive data about the ongoing events. The Dragon is the strangest drone you have ever seen. We have already shown you various drones with arms, but turning the drone itself into a manipulator is the wildest solution. It consists of four pairs of suspended fans, each connected by a two-axis hinge, making it incredibly flexible in flight. It literally has more degrees of freedom than you can use in practical applications, not because of a lack of imagination, but because it's quite challenging to make such a structure perform something useful stably and reliably. Dragon can transform itself to navigate through small spaces or manipulate objects. It weighs over 7.5 kilograms and can lift almost 3.5 kilograms, with the rotation of the fans achieved not by a drive, but by the thrust of the propeller. However, this marvel can only fly for 3 minutes, so the creators plan to teach it to walk on the ground to conserve energy. The Georgia Tech Robotic Musicianship Group has unveiled the results of its research. As part of the project, engineers taught robotic hands to react unpredictably to the movements of dancers and music. The goal was for both humans and robots to surprise and inspire each other. As noted by the authors, in the case of success, both humans and robots will dance differently than before they met. This robotic arm is capable of transmitting tactile feedback over thousands of kilometers. In remote control of the robotic arm, this task can be significantly simplified if the operator can feel the objects touched by this arm. Such a system was shown at a recent exhibition by Amazon. At the core of the system are two dexterous hands, robotic arms developed by the British company Shadow Robot. Each arm has 24 degrees of freedom and is equipped with 129 sensors that monitor parameters such as position, force, and applied pressure. Each arm arm can handle objects weighing up to 5 kilograms. For demonstration purposes, each arm was also equipped with additional biotech tactile sensors developed by experts from the University of Southern California. Each sensor consists of a soft, flexible skin imitator with the texture of fingerprints and filled with liquid. Robotic arms equipped with these sensors are remotely controlled by the operator. The company Wing, specializing in drone delivery services, has introduced autoloaders for its delivery fleet. The autoloader stations are designed to make drone delivery faster and easier. They occupy precisely one parking space and include a small loading mechanism, as well as a space for suspending the order. The main part of the device is located on a pair of long lever arms that allow the drones to hover above them. When the drone is in position, the station transfers the order to the drone's hook, after which it lifts off and departs without human intervention. Autoloaders do not consume energy and do not require a connection for data transmission. Samsung has developed the world's first autonomous marine vessel control system. The autopilot system was showcased on the Samsung T8 tugboat with monitoring conducted from a shore-based control center located 241 kilometers away from the tugboat. The company demonstrated both the autonomous movement of the tugboat and the remote control of its maneuvers. Additionally, the onboard collision prevention system was tested. The 38-meter tugboat with a gross tonnage of 300 tons successfully completed a 9-kilometer journey without human intervention. Throughout the entire journey, the autonomous maritime navigation system maintained the tugboat on the specified route, identifying potential hazards and adjusting the course accordingly. 
Swiss scientists have developed an implant that enables a paralyzed person with spinal cord injuries to walk. The technology is based on the use of electrical impulses that mimic brain signals, transmitting signals directly to the muscles. A flexible implant is placed under the vertebrae directly on the spinal cord. The electrodes in it are precisely positioned at the locations of the nerve roots of the spinal cord. The entire system is controlled by an artificial intelligence-based algorithm. As a result, the patient presses buttons on remote control handles of their walker, sending a signal to the tablet indicating what action they want to perform. The smart algorithm on the tablet generates the correct signals that the brain would send to the legs and transmits them to the device on the patient's abdomen, which in turn forwards the command to the implant. Eventually, the person can walk, stand, ride a bicycle, swim, or engage in other sports. The company Shark Robotics has developed a useful payload shark for the Boston Dynamics Spot Robot designed for disinfecting hard-to-reach spaces. The Spot Robot can disinfect up to 2,000 square meters in 15 minutes in places such as hospitals, subway stations, warehouses, offices, and other facilities. Shark consists of a 5-liter tank and 12 nozzles for the micro-spraying of disinfectant solutions. This system ensures a 360-degree diffusion. Spot's unique mobility allows the robot to disinfect spaces by navigating through complex environments with stairs, staircases, uneven floors, and avoiding obstacles. The company Shinmei Kogyo, in collaboration with its research partner, introduced the six-legged mobile robot New Century Mobility Soul. Thanks to its unique appearance, it attracts attention wherever it appears. The hexapod system is convenient for navigating uneven terrains inaccessible to wheeled systems and is designed to operate in harsh conditions, such as disaster-stricken areas and the moon. In the future, it is envisioned that full-scale robots will be able to transport people. A demonstration of ascending and descending stairs with a height difference of about 10 centimeters demonstrated the agility and efficiency of the robot. The Illum robot, developed by a subsidiary of the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, is permanently based underwater and regularly performs inspection, repair, and maintenance of underwater communications. The robot connects to a docking station on the seabed, simplifying deployment compared to a typical remotely operated robot that needs to be lowered from the surface. The robot is a modular system consisting of sensors, joints, motors, cameras, and light sources. It can dive to depths of up to 500 meters and operate either fully autonomously or under operator control. When extended in a straight line, Elam can quickly reach a specified target and its flexible body allows it to navigate through very narrow spaces. Any part of the robot's body can accommodate various sensors and tools. The robot can take video or skillfully manipulate objects with the manipulator attached to its end. The hypersonic drone Destinus, capable of reaching speeds of 6,000 km per hour, has completed its first flight. The afterburning chambers used in the aircraft will enable it to undertake intercontinental journeys while consuming a relatively small amount of fuel. In reality, this unique drone serves as a prototype for a full-scale fighter jet. Using the drone, the engineering team at Destinus demonstrated the functionality of their independently developed afterburning chambers, which aid in burning gaseous hydrogen and accelerating the aircraft to 5 Mach. Several test flights have been conducted, during which the drone reached speeds of 250 km per hour and exhibited stable behavior, showcasing the functionality and efficiency of the hydrogen afterburning chambers in real conditions. The next steps involve testing all components on a full scale prototype and improving the control system. After these advancements, Destinus will be capable of flying at hypersonic speeds. The Korea Atomic Energy Research Institute showcased the capabilities of its robot Armstrong. The machine is designed to operate in extreme conditions when eliminating the consequences of nuclear disasters. This compact robot can move at a speed of 6 km per hour, carry 100 kg of payload in addition to its two working arms, and tow loads weighing up to 200 kg. Moxie is a mobile robot designed to alleviate some of the frequent and repetitive tasks nurses have to perform. The robot is equipped with an arm, gripper, and mobile base that allow it to transport lightweight medical resources, navigate doors and hallways, and carry items for nurses and other staff. Moxie operates by integrating with the hospital's electronic health record system. Nurses have the ability to establish rules and tasks, enabling the robot to receive instructions for specific tasks when certain changes occur in a patient's record on Moxie's floor. For example, if a patient has been discharged and their room is indicated as clean in the health record, Moxie will receive a command to deliver an admission bucket, a set of fresh supplies for a new patient to the room so that it's all ready to go for the next person. 
For greater convenience, cars are usually generously equipped with various electronics. In turn, researchers at the University of Tokyo have concluded that convenience lies in portability and simplicity, leading them to create inflatable transportation. An example of inflatable transportation is a scooter with a cute appearance that easily fits into a backpack when not in use. Its very light weight of 5.5 kilograms also makes it easy to carry in a backpack. The scooter inflates very quickly with the help of a compressor, which needs to be carried separately, potentially complicating the transportation of the inflatable vehicle. However, the lightweight negatively affects the autonomy of the transportation means. Most likely, the scooter is designed for moving inside buildings over short distances rather than for long-distance travel. The Japanese company Shimizu, which has developed the world's smallest and lightest electric scooter called Arma, weighing only 4.5 kilograms. The prototype, available on Kickstarter, folds in 30 seconds using multiple hinges, not just one, making it compact and convenient for carrying a backpack or bag. When folded, its dimensions are comparable to an A4 sheet. A 3.5 ampere-hour lithium battery powers a 250-watt motor, providing a range of 11 to 14.5 kilometers. The maximum speed is 24 kilometers per hour. Hour. Arma promises to be a convenient means of transportation for urban commuting, especially when it comes to using public transport, navigating through multi-story offices, or shopping. It features a rare function among folding electric scooters of any size, the ability to quickly replace a depleted battery with a new one. Arma includes accelerator and brake buttons on the handlebars, as well as a central display for indicators such as speed and autonomy. It can support a person weighing up to 100 kilograms. The South Korean company Naver has developed robots for the automatic servicing of data centers. Garo and Ciro bots work in pairs complementing each other. The first is designed to transport equipment weighing up to 400 kilograms at a speed of 2 meters per second. The robot moves autonomously but will reduce its speed if it detects a person nearby. The second bot is responsible for loading, unloading, and installing equipment at the workstation. The robot's positioning accuracy is impressive, with a deviation from the specified position ranging from 2 to 5 millimeters, and it can lift equipment to a height up to 3 meters. In recent decades, the demand for new data centers has been growing, indicating that these robots are unlikely to be without work. An interesting development from the Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory at the University of California, Los Angeles, is the four-legged robot Alfred. The robot not only has the ability to move in various ways, but can also use its two limbs for tasks unrelated to mobility. Alfred is designed with symmetry in mind, allowing any limb to be used for any given task. Additionally, the robot structure remains relatively simple. Japanese artist, engineer, and DJ, DJ Do, not only creates music and engages in production, but also designs unusual accessories in the form of hyper-realistic human body parts. He showcases his creations for sale, and buyers are easily drawn to them. His first creation was an iPhone case covered in human skin, along with a DJ controller made in the same format. Subsequently, he introduced a mouth-shaped wallet, available in several varieties. DJ Do shares videos featuring his new products on his Instagram account. Some of his models are known to respond to touch. For example, a leather cube with a human eye comes with a remote control, allowing users to control the blinking frequency, the width of eye opening, and more. The cost of such an item is around $5,000. Currently, there are about 30 types of creations by the Japanese artist, made from human skin and flesh. The production of these pieces is handled by the company g -Euro, specializing in unique design and modeling for various films and commercials. It is said that the production of such art takes between one to three months. Many well-known creative people in the West happily purchase these practical works of art from the talented Japanese artist. Interestingly, there is more demand for these accessories abroad than in Japan itself. Share in the comments whether you would consider acquiring such an accessory for yourself. Spanish company Maco Robotics has introduced a robot bartender named Kime. This humanoid robot is integrated into a mobile bar, equipped with a torso and two manipulators for pouring drinks. Kime can prepare various types of coffee, mix dozens of different cocktails, open bottles, heat burger plates, brew tea, essentially fully replacing a human behind the bar. It is proficient in 10 languages, accepts orders through an app or a touchscreen, operates 24-7, and can serve up to 250 customers per hour. Machine learning enables Kime to refine its skills and even come up with its own cocktail recipes. A team of experts from Johns Hopkins University and researchers from Thelmic Labs has developed a new prosthetic for people with amputated limbs. A 28-year-old paralyzed man has regained a sense of touch through a prosthetic with electrodes directly implanted in the brain. The participant can now control his new hand and feel when it is touched. Johnny became the first patient to test the Mayo-based prosthetic bracelet. Johnny, who suffered from cancer, had his arm amputated due to tumor development. Albert Chi, involved in the prosthetics development, explains that the device, costing no more than $200, significantly 
significantly simplifies the lives of such patients. Johnny confirms this, stating that the prosthetic has become an extension of his hand, enabling him to perform necessary manipulations like grasping objects or touching them. The device records the patient's muscle activity in the arm and sends this data via Bluetooth to a computer, where it is processed and then transmitted back to the device. Mayo does not require electrode implantation or a special prosthetic installation surgery, making it considerably user-friendly. Recently, Chinese president visited the Shanghai Exhibition of Innovative Achievements in Science and Technology. The potential of China's technology was showcased to the Chinese leader in various fields, such as robotics, biomedicine, and artificial intelligence. According to eyewitnesses, the Chinese president was particularly impressed by the new Chinese humanoid robot GR1, developed by Fourier Intelligence. The company has already promised to manufacture 100 of these humanoid robots by the end of 2023, claiming that they will be capable of carrying a load nearly equal to their own weight. With a height of 165 centimeters and a weight of 55 kilograms, GR1 is expected to have a maximum walking speed of about 5 kilometers per hour. Its joints will provide 40 degrees of freedom through electric drives. Fourier Intelligence claims that GR1 will be able to withstand loads and carry payloads weighing up to 50 kilograms. As GR1 progresses, it can be a caregiver, a therapy assistant, or a home companion for elderly people who are alone, said Zen Ko, the CEO and co-founder of the company. The system itself can provide self-balancing during walking and perform various tasks. Developers can program it to sit, stand, and jump. The aforementioned 100 robots will mainly be sent to research laboratories, where various robotic specialists will explore 100 different ways to make these bots better, smarter, and more suitable for bringing benefits to people. SITE stands for Autonomous Mobile Robots Designed for Various Material Transportation Needs. The idea behind creating SITE was to provide people with the opportunity to safely and efficiently move products and materials within warehouses and factories. The robot autonomously transports materials using sensory capabilities and more, without any additional infrastructure costs. SITE is designed to withstand heavy loads, perform the most challenging tasks, and operate in harsh environmental conditions. It is capable of carrying loads up to 500 kilograms and consists of components that that adhere to industry standards, ensuring high reliability and significantly reducing maintenance costs. The proactive detection capabilities of SITE not only prevent accidents, but also benefit users by reducing the number of accidents and injuries, as well as lowering compensation expenses in this regard. The robot also helps reduce transportation-related waste, or in other words, operations that do not add value. Soon robots will be able to sense warmth, vibrations, or gentle touches thanks to a human-like skin, according to researchers from the Technical University of Munich. The robot skin they are developing is modeled after human skin and includes the following elements. Hexagonal cells, each the size of a coin, comprising microprocessors and sensors that measure touch, acceleration, proximity, and temperature. In addition to improving their orientation in the external world, robots equipped with such skin will gain a sense of their own external form. Additionally, the university team has developed a system that can combines artificial skin with control algorithms and used it to create the first autonomous humanoid robot with artificial skin covering its entire body. At first glance, it may seem like Photoshop, but these are indeed masks, skillfully crafted from high-quality latex. These masterpieces are the work of American artist Landon Meyer and his company, Hyperflesh. Landon first gained attention in 2011 when the internet was flooded with images of frightening and even more realistic children's masks. Instantly, the company gained popularity and sales increased tenfold. While the artist used to produce 25 masks per month, the surge in demand brought it up to 250 masks per month. The price tag of $350 didn't deter buyers. The handmade, quality-crafted masks became a valuable addition to even the most discerning collector's collection. In 2013, at the annual Comic-Con Festival, Landon once again captured public attention. The standout was a mask featuring the face of Walter White, the main character from the series Breaking Bad. What is remarkable is that the mask was worn by the character's actor, Brian Cranston. Each mask is an individual handmade creation by sculptor Landon Meyer. It involves meticulous work, including initial design, sculpting, 3D printing, and internal casting. The Electric Eel aircraft from Ampere has spent a record amount of time in the sky. The intelligent first-generation hybrid transmission has reduced fuel consumption by 50 to 70 percent, enabling the aircraft to cover an unprecedented distance. During a test flight, the aircraft covered 2,213 kilometers, circling over Camarillo Airport in California, remaining airborne for precisely 12 hours. In the future, Ampere plans to implement a parallel configuration where the combined hybrid engine system will drive the rear propeller and transfer power to the electric motor of the nose 
propeller. This will enable the use of regenerative pneumatic braking and allow the gasoline engine to charge the battery during flight. Despite its record endurance, the current generation of the aircraft needs to be recharged in the hangar between flights. However, in the next generation model, greater flexibility is planned, allowing it to operate solely on fuel when charging is not possible. The robot dog, nicknamed Hound, has set a Guinness World Record for a 100-meter race. Weighing 45 kilograms, the four-legged robot demonstrated an unprecedented level of agility and speed. Starting from a stationary position, the robot dog sprinted 100 meters at an average speed of 18.1 kilometers per hour, covering the distance in 19.87 seconds. This achievement establishes a new Guinness World Record, developed at the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. Hound features an optimized mechanical design, advanced reinforcement learning, learning methods were employed in its creation to achieve optimal intelligent behavior. In addition to running at a speed of 3 meters per second, the robot can navigate through grass, cover long distances, and ascend slopes with a steepness of up to 22 degrees. Its capabilities result from an optimized mechanical design, particularly the motor controller and gearbox configuration. Engineers from the Shanghai Research Institute for Intelligent Autonomous Systems have developed a drone capable of operating in two environments. It can both fly and swim underwater. Named TJ Flying Fish, the drone resembles a conventional quadcopter with four arms, each equipped with a motor propeller module. However, each power unit incorporates a special two-speed gearbox, and each arm can independently rotate relative to the rest of the drone. When the drone lands on water, it releases the propellers downward, allowing them to pull it underwater. Upon complete submersion, the drone adjusts the angle and thrust of each propulsion unit to move vertically or horizontally. The drone is fully autonomous throughout its mission and can hover for six minutes or swim for 40 minutes on a single battery charge. In the near future, such machines may be employed for aerial photography, remote sensing, and participation in search and rescue operations. Engineers from the Italian Institute of Technology, already known to us thanks to the project of the four-legged, two-armed Centaur robot, have introduced a new space robot. The three-legged bot, named MARM, will soon be able to perform maintenance tasks on spacecraft in orbit. In theory, MARM can carry out a wide range of tasks, but its primary purpose is to move on the exterior of a spacecraft, installing or removing orbital replacement units. The latter represent any modular components of the ship that can be easily replaced as needed. The robot consists of a rotating base resembling a pelvis and three articulated limbs used as arms and legs. Fixing mechanisms at the bottom of each limb grip hexagonal insulating tiles, covering the exterior of most spacecraft, securely holding MARM in place. This same mechanism can be used to replace tiles when necessary, as well as to charge the robot's battery and transmit data through docking stations outside the spacecraft. In the future, MARM will become semi-autonomous. For example, it will use built-in cameras to precisely place its feet on each tile during movement. However, when replacing ship models, a human will control the robot. Tethys Robotics has unveiled the underwater drone, Tethys-1, capable of autonomously searching for objects in challenging underwater conditions. Weighing 30 kilograms, the drone can operate independently or be remotely controlled by an operator through a cable extending up to 10 kilometers. Information about the target object is input into the drone before it is submerged into the water. Tethys-1 utilizes a camera, acoustic sensors, and artificial intelligence-based algorithms to see through murky water, similar to how submarines use sonar signals. Once the target is detected, the operator receives a notification to take manual control of the drone. Guided by real-time video from the camera equipped with a spotlight, the operator can explore the object. If the item weighs no more than 40 kilograms, the drone's robotic grip can be used to grasp and lift it to the surface. If the object is heavier, its location can be marked for quick retrieval by divers.